What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Karas here and we are looking at Pokemon Go today, again. Now, a lot of people don't know what Pokemon Go is. Um, it's basically Pokemon meets real life. I'm not too sure what rock you've been living under for, for this to totally flown over your head, but it is basically the biggest thing right now. Everybody is playing it. If you have a mobile device, you are destroying your battery with this game. And I am going to be bringing this short video of everything I know about the game and every tip and trick. A lot of my friends have been asking, oh, do a video, do a video. So I'm going to do one. I know there's a load of walkthroughs and guides out there, but this, quite frankly, this is going to be the best one because I'm, I'm going to give you every single inch of the game. First of all, a few months back, six months ago, uh, late 2015, Pokemon and the Nintendo company and Niantic released this trailer showing us what we were yet to be excited for it's basically an augmented version of pokemon in the real world using your smartphone device uh, to catch pokemon in the real world it's kicked off in a big way uh, the launch hasn't been so successful but the game is absolutely phenomenal and it's literally all over the screens so let's get straight into it and i'm going to start off with the basics and then get to the more difficult stuff and um, basically we're going to go through there and have a look at the game so enjoy the video and thanks for tuning in so first of all you need to jump into the game obviously you create your character um, i don't actually have any footage for that because it's kind of the easiest thing to do you select your starters as well now you can actually get a pikachu yes pikachu is available as a starter now i'm just going to show and explain how to do it uh, explain not show i've already started the game so i can't do that you are given three starters obviously these three cuties uh bulbasaur charmander squirtle now everyone's doing this it's not much of a cheat uh, because quite frankly you can catch the starters and the pikachu in the wild anyway later on uh getting pikachu as a starter i'm i'm here in the port in the video so if you do wish to do that what you need to do is start the game as you have your select three starters you need to walk away from them you do not like them walk away three times you walk away in a distance or direction they'll spawn again around you please pick me no walk away again keep going until they despawn and respawn three times on the fourth time the pikachu should show up with these three starters You'll be able to click it and catch it. It is not the easiest Pokemon to catch at this point, but I believe you can start with that Pokemon. All right, so here we are. I'm level 15. Um, we are basically going to keep this video as quick and as clean as possible because there is a lot to it. But um, let's get straight into it. This is your main screen. You have your map. Um, all the blue dots around their poker stops. If you click on them and look at them you basically get a replenishment of items randomized so you can get pokeballs potions and so on and so forth i'll show you that later on in the video but let's take a look at the hub so you've got your uh, person just there you can zoom in and out and around and so on and so forth bottom left we we'll start with that that's your player so this is your journal you have the maximum xp required to level each level it gets higher and higher below that journal basically it tells you what you've done um, in recent times Krabby was caught literally two minutes ago um, and so on and so forth for about oh, I'm not sh too sure how how long it keeps the information for but by looking at this it's about it's not even that long a few hours below on the left here the Pikachu coin that is coins I'll explain that later on that is actual in-app purchased coins though you can earn them by defending and beating gyms uh, through a sort of daily occurrence reward system Start date, that's when I played, 6th of the 7th, 2016, release date, uh, Team Mythic, you get to, at level 5, pick a team, being red, blue, yellow, um, Team Mythic, Team Valor, and I think Instinct, um, I, I'm sure it's Instinct for yellow, um, that's at level 5 via gyms, which you cannot do until you're there, below is a really nice sort of achievement list here, just telling you what you've done, registered that many Pokemon, I've walked 32k already, I've caught nearly 400 Pokemon already, um, and yeah, you kind of get the gist, it's basically sort of bronze, silver, gold awards for what you have done, caught one Pokemon, uh, Pikachu, I have done that. Uh, so that's the journal screen as such. If you go back on the, on the middle, you've got the Pokeball, tap that, and it brings up your main menu. Top right, settings. Um, I usually have all this off, 
there is issues lately with the servers going down and up so apparently the settings are resetting every time you go into settings uh, that's a lot of settings um, and these settings are pretty crap at the moment battery saver I don't care I don't care about it at all it doesn't do anything well, it does but it doesn't so turning on the battery saver allows you to basically have the phone in pocket mode uh, with battery saver on so the phone is upright and it's live and working as it does when you turn the phone upside down it goes like that and uh, basically what that means is it's in sleep mode but it's still on the game um, it's supposed to save you battery but apparently everyone's battery still dying I don't use it my battery's been fine that's just down to your phone um, there you go vibration sounds and all that you can use those um, again sign in sign out quick starts all these guides um, we could probably have a quick flick through the quick start that's a poker stop as I said the blue cubes um, in the real world they are places you can replenish you get um, you tap on them then swipe I'll show you that later on in the video this is a gym yep you battle there you can assign a Pokemon once you've beat the gym a certain amount of time which again I will explain later on um, for example the way over there there's a gym I will explain that don't worry again we'll go back to the menu next one down tips it basically brings up what I just showed you forget it Pokedex as you all know Pokedex is in the game it shows you what you've caught and what you haven't for the purpose of this video I've missed that Pokemon Nidoran saw it didn't catch it um, so I've caught 50 seen 51 um, yes I have Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle I got them by catching them I didn't do a hack or cheat for the starters so don't question how I get them all at the beginning because you can't you can only pick one um, and yeah so we've got a nice list of Pokemon here the way the Pokedex works is like the real Pokedex you can only see up to the number you have caught for example I have caught 138 being this little fella I'm a knight and I can no longer see any further because quite frankly I don't know they exist um, so once you catch the highest Pokemon the Pokedex will be like oh okay so there's 138 so far go catch them all back in here in the menu we've got below that shop now this is more of the in-app uh, purchases um, I am playing in the UK so I have UK prices here the good old British pound there's the coins you can buy them well no you can't at the moment in the UK it doesn't work um, as you see I, I, I click that nope I'm not spending my money today um, we'll just go through these items here pokeballs you know what they do I'm not going to explain that incense oh, incense they basically lure Pokemon to you um, on the player's position as you walk around it helps attract Pokemon to you lucky egg it increases your XP by 30% oh sorry 50% it doubles your XP for 30 minutes I've got a video on a trick I will link um, basically exploiting the fact that save up all your leveling evolutions pop a lucky egg then evolve them it goes mad I level twice in 10 minutes lure module basically a lure module to a poker stop so instead of putting a lure on your head it puts a lure on a poker stop therefore the public and people around you can benefit from that effect for 30 minutes egg incubator this is basically an incubator for your egg it breaks in three uses I will explain that in a minute and you've got nice upgrades here that are permanent which I really want to get into because bag space can be an issue so we'll go to the items first on the right potions they heal up from gym damage super potions hyper potions as you level up you will get better equipment for example you'll be playing until 10 and you'll be like hey Karas had hyper potions I have never seen one yes because as you level the game improves with your leveling so you will see rarer Pokemon as you level same with items you will get better and more quality items as you level player level revive when your Pokemon's dead it brings them back to life lucky egg as I just explained I'll be using one of those later um, incense as I say it's a lure I've got one of those and the pokeballs the lure modules raspberry I really enjoy this item basically you throw it at a Pokemon they eat it they're really happy and it basically makes them uh, more likely to catch basically is the best way of saying it. it it makes it easier to catch on the next uh, basically after you fed them camera don't use I guess you can take pictures of your Pokemon well you can I don't use it and of course the egg incubation 
sorry I'm losing my tongue at the moment so with the egg incubator we'll go straight to that by Pokemon top le oh, bottom left uh, swipe right eggs you can have nine at the moment nine out of nine uh, to be quite frank they look like Yoshi to me so I'm hoping one day one will pop open a Yoshi but we'll have wait and see um, you have to use an egg incubator on one like this you click through um, quite self-explanatory and now you incubate it you need to walk a certain distance um, again I'm going to explain something very important here everyone's riding around in cars and mopeds it doesn't work this is your first main tip please listen you cannot go faster than 25 miles per hour simple as that don't get on your car and wham it down the motorway thinking you're gonna get eggs going by the dozen it doesn't work so you have to stay below 25 miles an hour and also this is confirmed it doesn't guarantee the security of being under that speed so what I mean by that is if you're on a motorbike or a push bike which I have done a lot of my journeys on push bike if you accelerate and decelerate too quickly the game won't register the distance it will it will think you're in a car or, or trying to scam it and it will get confused so you're better off staying at consistent speed below 25 miles an hour um, I usually mooch around on my bike under that pretty slowly and that's fine um, again if you sort of whiz down the road and stop and then start and, and move about a lot I've, I've realized it doesn't register so 25 miles is the limit don't drive around in your car it doesn't work too well let's move on Pokemon this is your Pokemon hub screen basically you can have at the moment 250 that will go up because we have a fair few hundred Pokemon yet to come CP is how I organize mine um, I will explain them after I s explain this screen you can scroll down for a very long time and go through all your Pokemon bottom right of the screen you've got here just behind Pikachu's bar I do apologize I've put them in the wrong way it says this you can order them any way you like um, if I press favor it basically lists my favorite at the top um, you can favor them by in the top right here pressing the star after clicking on a Pokemon I like to uh, keep them in order by CP because quite frankly CP is power and that ranks them in greatest power yes Hypno is defending a gym for me as you can see next to his head it has a pokeball with a kind of triangle there that is the gym defender um, in fact those top three Pokemon are defending a gym for me at the moment and quite frankly they have been for days because they are tanks so you've got your Pokemon here it goes down um, I'm gonna explain a real nice uh, tip here again so keep in touch keep keep focused bear with me so let's just have a look for a Pokemon here that we're going to upgrade um, that isn't going to cost too much just so I can show you for example if I grab this Pidgey here you have his screen and it says just there power up and evolve um, you require candy to do so so for example if I click evolve it will evolve which I will show you later on in the video um, but that's basically how to do that I will explain it bear with me scroll down on your poker chart it shows you where you've caught it and the spells now this is important to pay attention to for gym battling they're the two spells tap and hold is how you battle and you swipe to dodge again later on in the video you will see that Zen headbutt is the tap does 15 damage again it will gauge up and down depending on the weaknesses and strengths of the Pokemon you're battling or the Pokemon you are playing with psychic you see two blue bars now they are basically your PP or your power again I will explain that with a gym later on um, but that does 50 damage so while you're in combat you need to tap enough times for that bar to fill up once it's full you can hold the screen and it will do that spell for example psychic I tap tap headbutt 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 psychic headbutt 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 psychic that's how the combat can work you don't have to play it like that it's down to you tapping dodging or holding the screen drowsy candies you see there's 66 how do you get that up you question catching Pokemon at the moment every time you catch a Pokemon you gain three for that uh, specific breed and evolution of Pokemon your question in some people watching this saying okay you've got hypno there but you're talking about drowsy candy that's because drowsy evolves into hypno come on Pokemon have been out for a good 20 years now get with a program so 66 candies it takes 
here 2-2 two, two power up and 1600 stardust and as you can see I've got 7640 stardust so I can do that I can't because he's in a gym defending um, so that's basically the Pokemon screen we are going to have a look at the catching Pokemon um, again I'm going to shift on over to that green grass bushy over there I'm just going to quickly explain a few things while we're here because people are questioning what the tufts of grass are flying up in this in the distance you can see there Pokemon come on think about it what do you think grass is have you never played a Pokemon game yes the flicky up flickies of flicky grass in the distance here are rare wild Pokemon or just wild Pokemon and basically if you walk near them you've got an increased or it's basically going to show up a Pokemon any minute now just bear with us that I will explain in a second. I just want to do the last tap on the screen here, bottom right. Three little Pokemon there, Drowsy, Zubat and a Weedle. Um, again, Pikachu's bums in the way, do apologise, but if you just pick bottom right, this comes up. Ah, lovely, Squirtle, I need to catch that. Nearby, it shows you all the Pokemon you've got. Now, they are greyed out if you have not got them yet. Caught them, greyed out. Done. If you have caught them, that Squirtle is getting a lot closer. I'm going to have to get my wheels on. Um... That, uh, basically they're coloured and they're there to see as you can see I've caught one of each happy days nearby now what are the feet you're saying the footsteps below they are equivalent to a hundred footsteps in real life so the weedle up there top left has two that's about 200 footsteps away from him to appear for me um, same as the squirtle and the zubat it's an approximate don't quote me on 200 oh I've stepped 200 give it to me it's approximate Below there you see Jinx, Spiro, Gasly have three. They're about 300 clicks um, away from me. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean in a straight line because actually the nearby box is actually only nearby. Um, so if I walk too far in a straight line, these Pokemon will disappear and it will be a new nine. Um, and that's quite frankly how it works. Ah, but people are clicking these Pokemon. Yes, there's another tip. So right now in the bottom it has three selected, it means you will get any one of these. In fact, you still get these. But if I click one of them, for example Squirtle, let me tap him now. He now shows up in the bottom right corner and basically that means you have an increased chance of finding that Pokemon. Um, quite frankly, he is getting a lot closer. As you can see he's got one footstep there, so I'm literally just going to wait here for a minute. Um, while I explain a few things and hopefully that Squirtle should pop up. So I now, as you see the circle is around him, he is very close to me um, and he's, he's, he's basically asking for it. Um, again, so you can close that and you will speci you'll specifically require that one or ask for that one. It won't necessarily give it to you, guaranteed, but it will increase the chances of you finding that Pokemon and lower the chances of you finding the other one. But overall, it would reduce your chances. Obviously, looking for one Pokemon as to nine is a greater percentage. So, we can actually see he's actually walking away somewhere. He's got two footsteps there, wherever he is. Um, again, a small thing, another tip. So, as you see my character walking around there, I am sitting now at my desk. The kind of recording studio, as I call it. Um... Right here at my computer, you see my character's taking a few steps. Yes, the wind is not the wind, but the wind is blowing the GPS around and basically, you know, it's it's collaborating. It's not 100% on point, um, which is good because I tell you this, it basically allows you to, it's very minimal. I mean, these steps are not counting for Jack, but basically by sitting there and waving your phone around can work. I am not touching my phone, it is just on my desk, but as you see, my character takes a few steps. So yes, it does work. It doesn't work very well. In fact, it's like 95% worthless. You know, it's very minimal, but it does work, however. So I'm set, I've got my running shoes on, and we are going to have a look for some Pokemon. Um, the next few shots of footage will be recorded from an older iPhone. I am on an iPhone at the moment. Um, it will be on an older iPhone, recording my new an iPhone in my hand. So I do apologise for the funky footage. But yeah, what we're going to do here right now is actually pop an item. The incense. Well, incense. I always call it incense. I don't know why. We're going to pop that and grab this squirrel. So click it. 
you click it again and now you see that's the item used if it works it will be in the top right as a cooldown of 29 minutes 57 seconds as you can see the pink circle around me smells wonderful to Pokemon and they should come flooding so I am literally going to head downstairs out over to that field over there with all the grass and then I'm going to go up this hill and to that blue gym which if I just tap on I own the greatest Pokemon there this is the squad fond kiss it's a bench level 5 gym I will explain that later on but here we go so that's the first Pokemon at CP 228 274 355 472 and there's me with an 823 Hypno Kara Snowblind level 15 that's me at the top I will explain that in a minute right luckily enough I've just managed to catch find the Zubat so I'm gonna jump straight onto it and kind of explain the uh, capture sort of battle scene um, so the top left quickly there you've got run so you can run away from the Pokemon you've obviously got its name and the CP power it is in the bottom right you've got your bag which you can use items directly from so I'm gonna use a raspberry um, this increases the chance of capture um, and obviously above there you've got snapshot I believe you can take pictures again I don't use that and I don't have the AR on because quite frankly it's just a gimmick to me it's gonna drain more battery yeah you guys are having fun with it but I'm not too interested um, in having pictures over pictures it's fine it's a great gimmick um, you can just throw the balls just like that I missed on purpose to show you the circle you see there if you hold the ball you can basically see the yellow circle getting smaller and smaller if you capture or bounce it off the Pokemon when the circle the yellow circle is smaller you get more XP and it is a better shot you can however also spin the balls for a curve if you do spin the ball with your finger by just spinning around you must throw the ball at an angle as you see if I throw it straight uh, the Pokemon will literally well the ball will just curve out of the way so the best way of doing this is just spinning up front just there bounce on the head um, and that's as easy as it is to catch and that's how I've been catching uh, throwing Pokeballs for quite a while now oh actually I forgot to explain as you see there he took a, a hit back a kind of dodge um, and that basically means that uh, you cannot hit the ball on him at that current time so I'm pretty bad at the moment um, another another thing to point out actually Zubat is one of the hardest Pokemon to cap capture to catch um, quite frankly he's so small um, you have to throw the ball really far in the distance I'm actually quite happy with the fact that I'm missing all these balls or well he's escaping because uh, he's giving you an idea of the whole com the whole sort of s um, cinematic or I was gonna say combat here but it's not necessarily combat um, I guess eventually we should catch it it would be ideal um, and there you go so finally we got it um, but that was a great demonstration to be honest that was a uh, there you go so I got a nice throw because I, I span it so you get more XP for that top left the stardust um, which is basically your currency to power up and the top right the three that's your candies which I have obviously explained um, earlier in in the video and here just a quick demonstration again we're basically going to run through the character sheet just here you've got the power up there it requires stardust and a candy and then evolve so if we press power up it will basically do that as the semicircle we speak about in the video all right when I get out there oh here we go Caterpie hello friend so again I'm just gonna throw a ball at this give this a quick run through again I need to use them so I'm just gonna use a raspberry eat that you love me I'm not even going to spin the ball I'm just going to throw it at the head catch the Pokemon just like that and uh, yeah we're gonna get downstairs and get a hunting I guess gotcha I actually do need a Caterpie um, actually I do need a few more in fact later on in this video I'm gonna evolve a Caterpie um, because I have enough um, cool so I, I, I this this squirrel was really taunting me he's one footstep I literally gonna run down there now so I will catch you on the other side all right I do apologize for this I am pre-recording the voice as I watch the footage back because the quality of voice on the iPhone to iPhone wasn't a great idea but the footage is here so you can see I left my house and the Squirtle literally pounced out again um, he disappeared for a minute here but he did pop up again when the data loaded I think that was due to switching off uh, leaving my Wi-Fi zone there he is, um, I do use a raspberry, he is uh, 
quite a tricky one at CP329 so I threw a raspberry and changed my balls to great ball I did catch him or he did put up a fight I used about seven to ten balls I believe um, but that's great he is my fifth or sixth squirtle I've got so I'm well on my way to having him evolve soon as possible all right so we're just coming up to our first poker stop here you see the blue uh, poker stop just here um, you can spin it and that's how you get your replenishment of items but first I've just seen a horsey pop up we're just going to jump onto that as quick as possible and capture this because I am actually due one more horsey and I should evolve one at the end of this tour outside um, again I'm going to use a raspberry because of the uh, amount I have I might as well just throw them out you can delete items as well to make space in your bag um, to gain more, more space for your items when you hit poker stops so I've got that and as you see horsey captured my XP my candies fine we keep moving this one seems to have had a bit of an issue there is still server issues and so on and so forth ah there we go a jinx this uh, lovely smelling incense has worked really well it's doing me a bunch of favors we'll give her a raspberry um, she's looking hungry all right so as you can see we've just turned around and walking back up the hill and um, we're going to make our way to this gym and hopefully i should be able to explain the gym and battling for you i do pop a lure up here as well in a minute i'm just going to explain to you i've got the incense on me at the moment and we've still got about 20 minutes left so i'm not going to jump straight onto the gym because uh i don't want to sort of waste that time um gaining an extra bonus to capture pokemon when you know I have 20 minutes on the cooldown so alright so I'm just at the top of the hill and this is a lure module so basically a lure module you basically can use an incense on a public poker spot so as you just seen the Pidgey's popped up what it means is you can basically share so if your friends are around you or you're hanging out together you can get to a poker stop the way in which you do it you click the poker stop and at the top there's a white bar click that white bar then select the lure module for 30 minutes pokemon will come flocking publicly to that poker stop so you and your friends and everyone around that poker stop can gain access to the bonus for this effect all right so we're finally at the gym we're going to go for a bit of the combat if you uh, find a gym they look like this they're massive constructions floating in the middle of the air um, so as you see this is the one I popped up to earlier um, and here's the whole crew and me at the end there um, I'm not going to be able to beat it um, I can tell you that because I have my best Pokemon right there so to fight yourself is insane you can do that however um, and the way in which it works is basically the color to color so I am blue team we own this I'll explain that in a sec but the combat is as this um, when it loads basically you tap to do your standard attack um, we do have a server issue here it does drop out and we reconnect right here tap to attack hold tap to do your special attack but only when you have pp full so those top three bars above my name underneath my health they're empty as you tap you gain pp um, so as you see here when the combat does start i will show you a couple of dashes and dodges so left left you can dodge you can also dodge the other way um, and tap is attack so you tap and you can see in the top there the blue bar just filling up once that fills up there you go you can hold the screen and you will do a special and as you can see it's it's much more effective as a spell but does require more um, so we keep doing that I will die uh, this is definitely not a win yeah and as you can see here we've come up against the next uh, Pokemon here Raticate which I am not going to be able to be at all so this is where the gym will finish and I will explain the gym itself and the colors and how teams work after this death so there you go as I said um, I lost and basically this is the win or lose screen and as you can see um, it gives you the information of what it is level 5 gym the level 5 basically means the kind of prestige level of it and now that means how many people can stand at base um, as I'm aware level 5 being level 5 meaning 5 players can stand there as you saw um, I was there 
holding base as the fifth player. Now if you look in, well actually it's weird, it says they're the fourth. In the top left just below Jim it has dots and a crown. Um, and the crown is me at the top position. And below are basically the existing people. As you see at the at the time there that was a level four Jim. Um, I'll explain this screen. I'll just get back to this one. So you win or lose and you basically gain experience um, and Pokemon defeated there and all this information. Now, Gym Prestige Plus. You see the picture there of the bench? Around that is a blue bar which is 3% full I can see. Now, basically that is the Gym, uh, gym Prestige. You must fill that up for the level to go up. So Gym Level 5, when we get that all the way up, that will go to level 6 and I'm led to believe that you can have 6 members of staff working at this gym. You see 12k out of 16k there? That's the prestige. Um, the 12k has obviously just broken the barrier for that. Um, the star rating is I believe the the, the fight that you just had um, in which it entails um, how many Pokemon you defeated and also what sort of difficulty as such the gym is. Um, so you must basically defeat the gym that much um, for the prestige to go up. Bit confusing here, you're now questioning why did you get gym, gym prestige plus when you lost. I'm team blue and we own this gym, blue. So losing my words here, but basically whether I win or lose this gym will plus because if I lose, well it still wins right because it's blue and if I win well it still wins because I'm blue so if you're attacking blue on blue that's great do whatever if you go to a friendly gym and you have the same team color attack it play with it do what you got to do because you're only helping yourself and friends um, if this was red now I would have lost prestige and it would have probably gained prestige and stayed red um, for longer but what happens is because I was blue um, it won slash I won so the gym actually levels up so if you lose it's obviously bad it's better for the gym bad for you because the gym gets better and that means the further away it is from taking over now I'm led to believe to take over this gym as a new color you have to eliminate the entire prestige back down for its ranks as you see there's five existing players on this and in the top corner there you can see actually this is before I took the gym earlier today it's 11k out of 12k I'm a win away from making that level 5 which it was as I recorded this video um, so just here you've got the prestige 12,000 some blue or yellow team or red or yellow team sorry have to come along and destroy that gym so much it's probably about what 30 to 50 fights because a win is only 300 max or prestige anyway they must defeat it 12,000 gym level for it to then be free to use once the gym is free any team can come along and grab it obviously there's going to be someone in the local area if it just gets beat they're probably going to throw a pokemon on it and that way they have to build it back up so that's basically gym it, gyms explained if you're a bit confused just leave comments in the chat i'll get back to absolutely everything um it is slightly confusing but you get there so underneath the picture there you've got your prestige level you must get that to the appropriate for example here it's 12,000 once it gets to 12,000 the gym levels up that means another player can join the defense and defend it every time that goes down you lose a character so the top the, the, the probably the top player will be knocked off king of the hill and the next person down becomes king but there's still that many people there if you are the same color as the gym it's good for both of you it's beneficial for both of you that's gyms in a nutshell and battling so i'm pretty much nearly done with this video i must say now real massive thanks if you're still watching and oh you've just jumped in for this section of the uh video i've got one last major thing to show you which i do have a separate video on but i am going to evolve a load of pokemon now um and quickly just run through an, a fantastic um tip um, which i have a whole separate video on which i'll have in the links in the comments below but i'm gonna pop a lucky egg right here because I have two and I'm going to show you a neat trick which I've been doing quite a lot leveling um, save up your Pokemon for evolving um, I'm just going to change this here down in the corner to name this is a massive tip as well remember to order them by name which obviously puts the Pokemon together which obviously makes it a lot easier drowsy 
to basically operate and see what you've got in terms of numbers. So I'm going to go ahead here, I've got a Lucky Egg active, so that's double XP for the next 30 minutes. I'm just going to quick run down on this character screen, go back to it, you know you've got the candies and the stardust, the power up, if you scroll to the bottom you can transfer. I think I may have said it earlier in the video about how to get candies. Well for every capture you get three, for that win, well, for, for an extra one you transfer um, basically to the meat grinder. At the bottom of the character you press this, you can't take it back after it's transferred, do you really want to transfer? Yes. And as you see in the corner there it says plus one candy, successfully transferred. So when you capture a Pokemon you get three, when you transfer it you get one, so for every Pokemon you can get four candies. Um, a great little tip, not a tip but it's just a bit of math. Um, everyone's interested in having a Gyarados, Gyarados, whatever you want to call it. Yes, it's a magnificent Pokemon to own, very tough to get in this game. It requires 101 Magikarp, um, 100 to catch because it's obviously, um, I believe it's for, it requires 400 um, candy to evolve and obviously you need that last one to evolve. So by capturing that many gives you I believe um, just over the 300 mark and then obviously you can transfer in that many. Uh, to get the extra candies, so it's about 100 uh, Magikarp you need to capture. Um, this doesn't actually give you XP. I know you're questioning why have I popped the Lucky Egg so early. Um, just quite frankly, for the for the video purposes, the Drowsy aren't working too great. I'm just going to go and do a couple of Zubats. Have way too many of them. So you transfer. Um, you do get a uh, small tip. You do get XP for spinning the. Pokestops. So even if your inventory is full like mine is 24-7, spin it. Still pass it and spin it, you get 50 XP. If a lucky egg is active, you'll get 100 XP. Um, nevertheless, XP is XP, it's nice for every 2 you hit, that's 100. For every 10 of those, that's 1000. That's 1000 XP there. It's all maths. As Thin and Jake would say. So just going to do a couple more of these, then we're going to evolve a few. Um, the reason why I've popped the Lucky Egg, I haven't really explained yet, but you get XP for evolving Pokemon, and you get quite a lot. I think it was either 500 or 1000, but whatever it was, it's doubled with the Lucky Egg. Now yesterday on this video I've pre-recorded, which I'll have the link in the comment, I level up two levels in 10 minutes, and that was my like the highest levels I've had. I think it was level 12 to 15, or 14 or 15, um, something like that in the video. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this anyway. I think somewhere today I had enough of something. Uh, I know what it was. When I see it, there you go, horsey. Right, this will be the first evolution on this video. So we're going to go and evolve the horsey to a seeking. Um... And it should give you obviously the double XP for the Lucky Egg. I just popped the Lucky Egg to show you how it works. Um, you can use the Lucky Eggs while battling. You can use the Lucky Eggs while capturing, capturing Pokemon. Um, anything. It works. But the best method of leveling is saving up loads of Pokemon like this and then popping them. If I tab back now, you'll see 2000 XP. So it gives you 1000 for leveling up. Um, let's see if I can do it with any more Pokemon. Caterpie? Yeah, that's the one I was talking about earlier. Cool, so we'll, we'll evolve that. I'm also just evolving any and every because um, quite frankly I'll, I'll play and advance these Pokemon later on in life. But I always, obviously it's best to do the maximum, maximum CP. Not necessarily. Um, you don't necessarily always want to do the max CP just because it's the highest. Have a look at their spells. For example, down here, Tackle and Struggle, 12 and 15. But if I go to another Pokemon, 12 and 15, same, obviously. Different Pokemon there, Caterpie. Um, but there you go, 6 and 15. So obviously the one there with the greater CP is better. But um, you get the drift. Again, Drowsy, I'm probably going to have to evolve one of these because... I have hundreds. I literally, I think yesterday in the video I evolved two or three Drowsy. Um, I had like 150 or something, or Pidgeys as well. So yeah, I'll do these again in a minute. You'll probably see me level after I do another one now. Uh, that's my, what, fourth Hypno? Great Pokemon. Um, it's actually 
it's not one of my favourites, but in this game it's actually become a favourite. Um, Eevee, again, I can evolve very soon, I'm not going to just yet. Ghastly, I can evolve, not going to, I'm saving for a Gengar. Goldeen, finally, okay, okay, so I can do that, brilliant. I was waiting for one Goldeen, I must have caught that earlier today. Um, and now I have a... Wait, this is a Seeking. What did I just call the horse earlier? Okay, my mistake. This is a Seeking, isn't it? Okay. I totally didn't even see what the horse evolved into, and I've totally forgotten the name. But this is a Seeking. Yeah. Oh, it's a Hydra or something. I forgot. Anyway, my mistake. Big mistake. So, I can't evolve those. There's my Hypnos. Jigglypuff. Again, I can't do that yet. Jinx doesn't evolve. Kakuna. Need 50. Krabby. To a Kingler. Again, I need some. Here, the magic up. So there's 400. I've got 60, 67. Um, I'm just going to transfer a few here. Um, so that is Pokemon Go, guys. I'm going to spend the next two minutes. I'm literally just going to throw a couple more tips out. Um, basically advising and recapping everything in the video um, for your benefit. I'm going to do an, a Pidgey. Yeah, go on then. Evolve another one of these. When I back out now to my player screen, you should. I, I, I could probably guarantee I'm going to level. I've evolved what five or six since the first one. There's two thousand twice. It's about ten thousand, twelve thousand. Let's have a look. And that's a great tip to level. So that's how you level and power up your Pokemon. Uh, back, back. There we go. Five thousand. Okay, it must have calculated some previous to that. Um, Again, I could probably do another drowsy. I probably can with all the ones I transfer. I won't do it right now because it's quite boring to watch. Um, did I have anything I could... I probably could do another one of those. I can. And will I? No, I'm not. Because, again, massive cheat. This is a tip. Evolve the lesser ranks. Um, I'm evolving a Pidgey here. Why? Because it only requires 12 candy. And I'm led to believe it gives you similar XP. So... For the sake of using less candy, same XP, you might as well. Um, and quite frankly, I have a bird army right about now. Um, let's see how much it gives you. 1000, okay. I was wrong, uh, but right, because it still adds up to a lot more XP in terms of it only requiring 12 to level. Uh, Gold Bat, I probably can do one of those. Yep, yeah, let's evolve one of those. Again, that's a 50 candy, so that's going to give me 2,000 XP. That should level me. Once I level, I'm going to bring it down a notch and uh, throw up a load of tips and guides and what not to do and things you can do with Pokemon Go for the next two minutes. So I appreciate you hanging on and watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow some of my stuff. I'll be bringing more videos to YouTube. Right, so we're just going to recap on a few things um, on Pokemon Go. So don't forget, you can get Pikachu as a starter. And the rustling leaves do equate to wild Pokemon. Please don't forget that. The rustling leaves are wild Pokemon. They will jump out. Master the art of capture. Don't be afraid to spin the ball. You'll get extra XP and more Stardust as you capture new Pokemon and so forth. Drop the AR camera. Once you've had fun with it and moved on from there, turn it off. It's draining your battery and it's adding so much more that doesn't need to be there. Don't be afraid to have doubles as well. Having more Pokemon is perfectly fine and helpful for you to get more. Don't capture Pokemon because you already have it. Capture it because you already have it. Simple as. You need Pokemon to get Pokemon. Spend your poker coins on lures and incense. Lures are amazing. Incense will bring the Pokemon to you. Small tip, if you're at home a lot, go around, grab an incense for a Pokestop. When you're at home, then you can pop it and you'll be able to play while sitting down on your lazy bum, just as you wanted to. When you're not moving, again, incense is the key. Don't just win gyms, defend them. 
you can get rewards by defending your gyms by having your Pokemon in position. You go to the store, in the top right there's a little tab, as you defend gyms you can click that and that will basically give you access to daily prizes, even poker coins. Poker stop equal prizes. If you're near one, swipe it, get over to it, swipe it, find them all. If you are fully geared, they'll give you XP. And don't forget to charge your phone. So, thank you for joining in and spending your time with me. I hope the video was helpful. Any questions, anything you need at all, just message me. Leave a comment in the boxes below. Subscribe, follow, get back to me. Let me know how you think the video was. I will try and bring a lot more to you as I can. Thank you very much. Karas out. God bless all of you.